Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back to another edition of The Fishing Teacher and really appreciate you guys checking today's video out. And guys, today we're gonna to be talking about what you can do if you just cannot catch any fish, if you're just struggling to catch fish, if you get frustrated, we've all been there before. And um, I'm gonna give you guys some tips and advice on um, sort of how you can take a bad day and maybe turn it around a little bit and catch a few more fish on there. So real quick guys, just wanted to give you guys a reminder about our fall uh, fish the moment lake map breakdowns we got up on the website. Um, we got these lake map breakdowns. It gives you 40 good GPS waypoints to begin your search on any lake around the country. Tips and advice on how to fish each spot. You download them to your depth finder. And if any uh, lake that you fish isn't on our website, you can book a virtual lesson with me and we can go over that one-on-one. -on -one. So I'll put the uh, link in the description with that. So much appreciated there. Okay, guys, we've all been there before, man. You've been, uh, if you fish long enough, and I guarantee that anyone that has fished very long at all knows what I'm talking about, there's days you just can't catch them. You just can't get any bites. It's like everything you try, nothing's working. <clears throat> you get frustrated. You lose confidence. Um, you just want to give up, that type of stuff. I mean, it's pretty common because, you know, fishing, not just for bass, but for any type of species, it can be tough. I mean, more than not, you're you're going to have days where you struggle more than the days you're successful. That's just the the way fishing is, unless you're fortunate enough to live on a body of water that's just loaded with fish that doesn't get much fishing pressure. But if you fish public water, it's going to happen. So anyway, let's talk a little bit about how to turn it around. Um, one of the, I think one of the first things to remember as a as an angler, you know, especially if you're just getting started out, like a lot of people are here on the Fishing Teacher channel are, um, just remind yourself that it's a myth to say the fish aren't biting because the fish are always biting somewhere. You just have to figure out where they're at in the body of water you're fishing and the technique that you need to use, you know, at a certain time. It's all another thing. It's about being at the right place at the right time. So there's a, there's a mix of different things that sort of have to come into play uh, before you can actually, you know, begin to catch fish. But don't ever feel, if you're not catching them, don't ever feel where it's, it's just a bad day today, they're not biting, because that's not true. So given that, that ought to give you some confidence. It's just, it's, it really sort of puts it in your control a little bit more. If you, if you try to dismiss it as something that they're just not feeding today, then... Uh, that sort of takes the control away from you. But if you understand that that's not true, then, you know, you have control of the situation. So the, there's two primary things that you have to do in order to bail yourself out and to turn a bad day and make it into a good one. Number one, you've got to decide whether you need to stay where you're fishing at or move to a different location. Or you have to decide whether to change lures. That, or it can be a combination of those things. So it's usually a combination of changing up your lure presentation or changing the area or changing the lure that you're using in the area. So there's several different factors that go in there. So the first thing you wanna do is you don't really want to change your area. If, you, if you've got a part of the lake that you're fishing, say you're in a creek arm or say you're on a good looking bank or something, don't dismiss it until you change techniques up. And a lot of times, if you're struggling to catch fish, one of the best things that you can do is downsize to a smaller bait, like go to a little Ned rig or a little four inch plastic worm, or maybe a little finesse jig. You got to downsize your presentation. <clears throat> and also by going to those baits like a Ned rig or, or shaky head or drop shot, something small that you can fish on the bottom, you put yourself around more fish because most of the time the fish they don't want to chase a lure. They, they've got to be in a certain mood to actually chase a lure. A lot of times they're hunkering down on the bottom and if they see a little bait like a little Ned rig or a little small plastic worm that comes hopping by them, it doesn't expel any energy for them just to suck it in. So you can catch those fish a lot of times that aren't in the chasing mood. So first piece of advice I'll give you guys if you're struggling guys, just go to finesse approaches, go to lighter line, go to smaller baits and you're definitely gonna get some, some more bites with that. Now, the next thing with that, let's say for example, you've tried smaller baits and you've tried you know, a lot of different lures and you can't get them any bites on there, that's the time that you need to change your location of the lake or the body of water or creek or whatever like that. Let's say for example, you were fishing a, a steep rocky bank. Um, instead of fishing a steep rocky bank, make a move and start going to a, a bank that's a little bit flatter 
Or if you were fishing, say, Main Lake Points, um, instead of fishing Main Lake Points, go back into the creek arms and fish some of those little secondary points. Or if you were fishing boat docks, and say, for example, you were, uh, you know, throwing a jerk bait or crank bait down the side of the docks and not catching any fish, the next thing is put you like a wacky rig worm on and skip it up under, underneath the docks or go to some docks that are in a little bit different part of the lake. Um, may say back to the dock example here, say you were fishing docks that were uh, out on the main lake, you know, or, or on points or something like that. Instead of just giving up on docks, go back into the back end of the cove and start fishing the shallow docks in the very backs of the coves. And just experiment, you know, and just, you know, try different things. And that's sort of what fishing is. Fishing is a, is a matter of, a, it's, it's trying things until you figure out what is working. And sometimes you hit on that pretty quick and sometimes it takes a while. But the main thing, guys, don't give up. Change up your bait, change up your area. Uh, go to small, finessey stuff, and that's going to, that's going to add up to a few more fish on those tough days. So hope it helps out, guys. We'll talk later.